Now, I'm not a man of fear. I'm a pretty confident person. I wouldn't say I'm scared of many things, but there's a certain type of individual that I'm terrified of, and Bensei is one of them. Now, Bensei is a social media creator. He's been doing this type of stuff for about two years now. He, he's not a black belt in karate or a competitive UFC fighter or anything like that. He is what I would call a weapon specialist. He uses many different types of weapons in his videos, but his signature weapon is something called a meteor hammer. Basically, it's a weapon, it's a heavy weight attached to a chain, and that might not sound super intimidating to a lot of you guys, but once you see how Bensei uses it, you're gonna realize that you should be scared shitless. I didn't know that this was a real weapon. I've only seen it in movies like Ip Man. He might have had it in Kill Bill. I don't know. I didn't know that people were actually training and becoming skilled with the Meteor Hammer. But it's pretty scary to me because it made me realize that once people start learning this type of stuff, they're going to become deadly with household objects. I mean, anyone that watches and trains the way that Bensei does is able to kill you with keys and a lanyard. They could just, just swing it on their finger and fucking launch it at your dome. And there's nothing you can do because it happens so fast that you're already dead. I also don't know if Bensei rents a studio or if all of the videos he makes are from home, but I do know that I would hate to be this dude's janitor. Hey, can we go easy on the ice cream? Now, he isn't the only person that's mastered a weapon. I'd say he's one of the more elegant ones. He's, he's very smooth with it, very calm and collect with it, but there are other people out here other creators who have become deadly with household objects this guy right here is a little more intimidating than Ben say if you ask me I mean it looks like this person could pick me up and fucking snap me over his knee without even, you know, wasting a breath. And apparently it's not enough to this dude that he was blessed with the genetics of a fucking giant. He decided that he had to go out there and become deadly from a distance. And seeing people like Bensei and Mr. Hammerman here have made me realize that anyone can become deadly with these types of weapons but I've come to the realization that it doesn't matter who you are if you can throw an object with accuracy people will fear you I mean there's nothing a child fears more than a mother who can throw a sandal with pinpoint accuracy there's also someone I've come across I haven't seen as many of these types of people but this dude really scares me I mean this is a person who I think should be under constant surveillance 24 hours a day if he's not already because look at this guy right here I wouldn't mind if the things he was making were toys but he's making actual weapons and just getting away with it because he's an engineer. I mean, what happens one day if someone breaks this guy's heart or he gets into a serious accident and now he's just unstoppable because no one's been watching him for the past three years while he designs a fucking superhuman army. I really support this type of craftsmanship and I respect it a lot. I mean, this dude's really intelligent but the government or someone needs to check up on this guy around the clock. I, I would sleep a lot better at night knowing that someone is watching this man through his daily life. My point is we forget how many people there are out in the world 
like these three individuals. Although we, we might see them a little bit on social media, there are people out here training and doing this shit and not telling people about it. And we really need to fear those people because they're keeping it a secret. And they're going to unleash it on you one day when you least expect it. So there's one lesson I want you to take away from this video. It's uh, stay careful, stay aware, stay vigilant. Be aware of people out there. You might not always be safe. This is Light Talk. Thank you.